Listen, uh, Mr. Dutch, <clears throat> can I talk to you a minute? What is it? I think you misunderstood me earlier. I ain't trying to rob you. You know me better than that. What are you trying to do, Micah? Save you. Save everybody. You know me. You stop lingering like a bad smell and speak some sense to him. I'll go back to Blackwater and get the money. Meet y'all someplace and we'll be home free. That's it. Just think about it. That's all I'm saying. The way I see it, we gotta try. Think about it. Thank you. You're... I'll do whatever you say. Always. What are you trying to pull here? Right you are. All right. Ready. I'll 
good here. Walking through here like you own the place. But the O'Driscoll's got designs on it. You think you're the tough one out here? Think again. Here's wind or something. Hey, boy. Tell me about it. Oh, well. Hello, sirs. Hey, partner. Hey, there. Hey, mister. Mister? What's this place coming to? So, feeling better? How's the scar? I heal pretty fast. Lucky you. So you just lazing about or you got any leads? I got something. You see them? Sure. Well, you see yourself as a shepherd now? Maybe. Come on. Well, where exactly are we going? Collect something. Help us get some sheep. Uh, you know, that attempt to seem all enigmatic and interesting, that might work for Dutch, but for you, it just makes you look stupid. Come along. You'll see. That train job was a start, but we need more money. Until we can get back to Blackwater and collect. I'm here to tell you. We try to collect that money anytime soon, it'll come with a noose. I was worried you'd say that. Dutch says that we... Dutch says a lot. That's his gift. Saying things. Oh, yeah? What do you mean by that? I was a prize pony once. Now I'm the workhorse. Listen, Dutch is... But... But, well... You was at that thing in Blackwater. We already seen Pinkerton's here. New century's coming. This life, this way, well, we're the last, I reckon. And we ain't long for it. Then that's the way it goes, I guess. For me, yes. All right. So where are we going? Just need to pick up something. post over there. Tether the horse and I'll meet you across the street. Uh, I already don't like how this is going. Good morning, sir.
Gun store? Yep. Can you, uh, head in, pick up the sniper rifle? I'll explain later. Don't you wear yourself out now. Hello. How can I help you today? Looking for a rifle? Something with a sight on it. Eh, yeah, shouldn't be a problem. If you want to see what we've got, it's all in the catalog here. Sure. Let's go. Oh, why couldn't you have done that? Done what? Bought that gun. I had a run in with that fella earlier. We ain't on the best of terms. You had a run in. I've had a run in with half that town. Calm down. It's done now, ain't it? Why are you being so cagey about all this? Always playing some goddamn game. Me? I ain't the one taking Jack on fishing trips. No, you ain't. If you say the boy ain't yours, what's the difference? You probably only run off again. Why are you so interested in my life? Ain't you got one of your own? Just do one thing or another. Not be two people at once, that's all I'm saying. It ain't that simple. You know that as well as anyone. Same as with you and that girl... What was her name? Mary? That was different. No, it ain't. Just the same. Anyway, for the love of God, will you tell me what you got me doing here before I turn around and hit the breeze? There's a herd of sheep coming down to auction from Emerald Ranch. Folk in town were saying the owner's trying to stamp out every farm from here to Ansburg. Yeah, I know that place. There, girl. collecting on the sale. Doubt the town will care to notice too much. Why we need this rifle you couldn't buy yourself. Reckon we shouldn't get too close. At least not till we know what we're dealing with. Let's see what we can see from up here.
Okay. I think that's them over there. So what now? Put a shot in near them. I reckon they'll hightail it. They're only branch hands. Just watch the sheep. One of them don't scare too easy. Put another shot in close. He'll get the message. Yep, that spooked him all right. All right, let's go round him up. Let's go get the strays. You ever work on a ranch, Marston? here or there, but not much. Most cowboys I know are dumb as trees. How hard could it be? I guess we'll soon find out. Let's get these things. Bring them back to the yards. Easy, whoa. Yeah. <laughs> all right, I think we got them all. Let's head for town. You know what? Mars, why don't you leave the sheep to me? You ride Shank, keep watch for any trouble. I brought you in on this. It'll be quicker this way, trust me. This ain't the right time for you to be learning how to hurt. All right, whatever you say. I'm done arguing. Round up your ragglers. Shut your mouth. Route back to Valentine is right around that mountain. Okay. Like I said, I'll handle this. Ooh. Yeah, there's a girl. <laughs> That's more like it. So sick, yeah. Not bad, huh, girl? 
Too scared left to see you. Those are up, boys. There you go. <laughs> Fine sheep. They're okay. Well, you seem better around here. I've seen ones with less ambiguity about their provenance. <laughs> A lot less. What are you trying to say? I'm trying to say, you give me 25% kickback, and I won't say nothing to nobody. Everything all right here? Excuse me? Sure. I'll excuse you for 25%. Do you want me to put another hole in your head? Folks swing for rustling livestock. 25%. 15. 20. 18. Done. Calm yourself, friend. Just think of it as I'm buying your sins. Nah, you're buying. We're paying. Go on now. Come back after the auction. You'll get your money. Dutch is waiting for us at the saloon. He is? Uh, hey there, girl. <clears throat> Thought we was doing the robbing here. Still good money. Well, thanks for all the help with this. Can't herd, can't swim. Give it a rest, will you? We ain't kids no more. No, we never really was. Sunshine, I'll buy you a whiskey. Not everything, but in the end, after I you, don't sir, in absolutes, just shades of gray, compromises, compromises. Well, I have never been a man, uh, gentlemen, Dutch, Nepo, where have you been? Working. Marston's thing. Good. And we're just waiting to get some pay on a few sheep. Leopold, my good friend, as long as you're here, why don't you and John go make sure there ain't no funny business? Of course. Gentlemen. Drink? Sure. <clears throat> Nothing like talking to old Strauss to make you want to blow your own brains out. I should have left him where I found him all those years ago. Bookish little Austrian, fresh off the boat, his eyes out on stalks. Well, I guess the 
Dutch Vanderlyn Finishing School has some strange graduates. That it does. To your good health. Thank you. Vanderlyn! Get out here! Get out what here the now! Vanderlyn! You don't know me, but you keep robbing me! My name is Leviticus Cornwall. I am not a man to be messed with by the likes of you. Get out here before I have these men killed. What do you think? Get out here, well, I... you depraved piece of trash. You start spinning a yarn. When I think the moment's you right, I'll make a move. You where I am by letting Scott watch you rob from me? Get out here now! Deal with this nonsense. Please, gentlemen, this is a terrible mistake. This is a case of mistaken identity. What is worse than admonishing a man for the sins of another? Who wants to be the Messiah? Not me. Nor do I want to be this Dutch Vanderlyn, whomever he may be. Cover us! John, we'll push the wagon! Arthur, shoot someone! I'm trying! You're not getting out of here! Get right behind the wagon as we push, Arthur! You can use it as cover! Ah.
back to John Tours and let's get out of here. Get him on the hook. You make sure nobody's following us. We'll get back to camp. We're gonna gather the troops and get them to start packing up. So we can't stick around after this. Let's go. <laughs> Are you going to take that over to Pearson? No. We keep heading east. Is that the plan? For now. And when do we stop? When we reach Paris? Well, that'd be nice. Join the commune. We stop when we find someplace sensible. Shake them that's following us and lie low. This is lying low. Turned into a bunch of killers. I mean it. We ain't even got the delusion of being anything but a bunch of killers. We are just trying to survive, Hosea. We don't have a choice. This will end soon. Damn right it will. Yeah. Hello, Arthur. Sits more than anything. Arthur, stop pretending to look busy and sit down. Yeah. 
You got that down to a fine art. So we moving? Yeah. Micah told me of a place we can lie low. Look here. Dewberry Creek, he said. Okay. Maybe you and Charles can go take a look, clear off anyone you find before the whole lot of us move in looking so conspicuous. And how are we gonna do that? I don't know. Start dancing? Looks like I turned into a goddamn errand boy. You have turned into my son. You worry because I worry. We are just the same. <laughs> hey, Charles, come on. I need you for something. Sure, this can wait. Hey, Javier. Arthur. in there Where are we going? Find a new spot to camp. We're packing up and moving on. Again? We have to. Fast. We don't... Already pushed our luck too far before that mess we just made at Valentine. Ah, uh, that didn't sound good. Ah, uh, killed a lot of law. Killed a lot of Cornwalls, man. They must know where we are by now. So, we're heading south? Yeah. Area called Dewberry Creek. Dutch wants us to give it a look. Make sure it's clear and a good place to lie low for a while. I've only known him a few months, but the way he talks, I never thought I'd see him wanting to head south. Right. And I know by now, there ain't no lying low. There's too many of us for that. And... There ain't no way Dutch is gonna just hide away in a cave somewhere. Goes against everything he stands for. That'd be admitting we're nothing more than low-down criminals. Which we are. You don't have to tell me. So where does it end? Where does what end? The moving, the running. Dutch don't see it as rough. Call it what you want. I don't know. Before, put enough time and distance between you and the problem, eventually it went away. I mean, this is a big country. But now, with these Pinkertons, better paid bounty hunters, I ain't so sure. Maybe the price on our heads got too big. Yeah, they've certainly got money behind them. They've got Cornwall's money behind them for one. Which guarantees even more trouble. Buddy! <laughs> you done good, girl. I think that must be it up ahead. The old dried up creek. Seems very open. Yeah, it does. Ain't sure to be the best in the rain, neither. Well, let's take a look around. I see something over there. You see it? Someone on the ground there.
shot. Let's be careful, Arthur. Camp just up ahead. Sure. Let's get ready for business. Any issues? Shoot first, debate second. I'm not gonna shoot for the sake of it. Survival's for the sake of it. Quit talking. All right, Charles. Let's go take a look. Look, here it is. A few tents, but the place looks empty. Let's have a look around and make sure. Where is everybody? Maybe they heard us come. Be careful. I'm being careful. Someone's been here. Sure. Someone's still here. There ain't no one here now. I ain't so sure about... It's okay. It's okay. You can come out of there. You okay? I don't mean no harm. <laughs> he said, are, are you okay? Ich sprechen Sie Deutsch? It's German? No. Now go on. Get out of here. Go. We need the land. Go. Get the hell out of they here! They took our father. Who did? Men, last night. Where? Where did they take him? It ain't no business of ours. I don't even speak their language. You ain't as tough and dense as all that. Come on, Arthur. The girl was pointing this way. Let's see if we can pick up a trail. There. Tracks. Come on. What's going on with you? What do you mean? You were just going to send that woman and her children on their way? We're wanted, man. We got Pinkertons breathing down our necks. We should be moving camp, not running off on... a wild goose chase. Come on, Arthur. That's not how you are. Well, maybe you don't know me as well as you think you do. Wait a second. Just want to look closer here. Looks like they cut off down the trail to the left. You're right. Okay, come on. So, what happened with those Pinkertons anyway? When you were fishing with Jack, said they were on to us. Offered me freedom if I turned Dutch in. <laughs> they picked the wrong man there. We should have moved right then, if you ask me. Wait, just let me make sure this is right. Look, you go along the shore there. I see him. Anyway, you were saying? Bastards told me they killed Mac. Said it right in front of Jack. That kid, it's gonna be tough for him. Yeah, but he has more folk looking out for him than most of the rest of us had growing up.
John said he was going back to the auction yard to collect the money for those sheep. He'd be a damn idiot going anywhere near that town right now. Uh, he reckoned he'd be a slip in and out. Oh, well, if it's John's idea, it must be a good one. Hey, what is it with you and him? Uh, he disappeared on us for a while. Think this is the right way? Give me a second. Ah, uh, they continue on that trail ahead of us. Good eyes, Arthur. Let's keep on them. Like I was talking about, when Jack was real young, a long while, a year or more. He did? And we was family, you know? I guess I still ain't fully forgiven him for that. There's a camp up ahead. Be careful. Whoa! Seems deserted. Let's take a look. Where is this guy? I don't know. But you know something? This is a better camp spot than back there. Much easier to defend. Maybe. This looks like our feather, Charles. Quick, cut him free. Let's get out of here. Vorsicht, Vorsicht! Das ist eine Pfanne! Vorsicht! Three coming right at us! What the hell do you think you're doing? What are we doing? This ain't even our goddamn fight! Drüben. Sie sind alle weg. Come on. He looks in some pain there. Bitte, lass uns mich gehen. Schneiden Sie das Bein durch, bitte. Cut him free. Let's get him back to his family. Machen Sie mich los. I thought you wanted to get this over with, Arthur. Okay, getting you out of here. Vielen Dank für Ihre Hilfe. Yeah, okay. Here you wait there a second. Charles, go find Dutch. Get the caravan to divert here. This spot should work for us. I agree.
All right. Come on. I'll take you back to your family. Vielen Dank für Ihre Hilfe. Also soll ich mitkommen? Bringen Sie mich hin. What the hell did you do to those fellers? Wie bitte? Those men back there, why did they take you? Geld, money. Meiner Familie gehört eine Goldmine. Sie wollen Lösegeld erpressen. It, how did someone even come up with them words? Sie bringen mich zu meiner Familie? Vielen Dank. Wie haben Sie sie gefunden? Uh, I'm sorry, friend. I can barely speak English. Dem Herrgott sei Dank. Schatz! Oh. Andreas! Oh. Andreas! Ich hab gedacht, du seist tot! Beinahe wäre es so gewesen. Meine Lieblinge, meine Herz allerliebst. Oh, wie wunderbar. Oh. Sie sind ein großer Mann. Ja. Ein großer Mann. Ja, wirklich. Es ist ein Segen, dass Thanks. wir sie getroffen haben. Come on, get out of here. This place ain't safe. Get out of here! Ja, ja, Vamos. das ist klar. Vamos. Uh, ich hab was für Sie. Einen Moment. Uh, um, Dankeschön. Thank you. Vielen Dank, herzlichen Dank. Guess it was a pleasure. Ja! This place, oh, it'll be perfect for us. Hello, Arthur. Dutch. <clears throat> Miss Grimshaw, Mr. Pearson, put everyone to work. Make this place a home. Well, I don't know where the hell we are, but we are going to make the best of it.
How are you doing, Molly? Fine. How you Fed up of moving all the time. Okay. Yeah, just the way it is. Behaving there, O'Driscoll? I'm not no Driscoll, sir. Sure. <laughs> How are the horses? Okay. Uh, I mean, well, but they could be better. I'm worried. They, they, they've been through a lot. If I had some burdock root, just a couple, uh, I could knock up a poultice, could keep them well, and cure some ailments. Burdock root? Yes, yes, that, 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 that works best. Okay. If I see some, I'll bring it to you. Well, thank you, sir. <clears throat>
We're stuck in the ship now, Mr. Morgan. In the ship. We're drowning in mud. For a man of the cloth, you have quite a way with words. Words are the very least of my problems. The very least. I'm sure. Spot here with your name on it, Arthur. Don't expect me to be cheery, understand? Yeah. You all right, Bill? Can't believe we're running away from Cornwall. What's happened to us? It was time to move. All right, well, I should be getting on. All right. Hey, Arthur. What you want? <laughs> Man, you one sour son of a bitch, ain't you? <laughs> Only when I see you. <laughs> Only when I see you. <laughs> <laughs> You gotta find us some food or some money, Arthur. I know. Thank you. Well, here we are, Tilly. That's the way it goes. That's how it's Good day. done, ladies and gentlemen. Hmm? Money's in the pot. Made it big. Again. Mm, lucky people. The rest of you stop being so goddamn lazy and come over and say thank you to your Uncle Micah. <laughs> what do you want, a medal? You just don't like the fact there's a new hot dog. Oh, don't make me laugh. Are you well, Mr. Morgan? Well, I'm alive, Miss Grimshaw. These girls, Mr. Morgan, they're driving me to despair. Why? No gratitude and no manners. This younger generation, it saddens me. The world is ruined. How you doing, old friend? It's funny, us in and up down here. My daddy died in a field in Pennsylvania, fighting this lot. I ever tell you that? Many times. I see I'm boring you, Arthur. Worrying me? We lost men back there. We have lofty goals, Arthur. We're trying to reform society to a kinder, truer, better way. Now, of course, there's going to be casualties. We're thieves in a world that don't want us no more. We are dreamers in an ever duller world of facts. Now, I'll give you that, but come on. We got the day. It's nice out. Old Jose says that there's a trick around here. I reckon it's full of fit. Show us this crick you've been pissing in. Hey, you don't look too rosy, old friend. I thought this warmer weather would... My days are looking good along with the Dutch. <laughs> Always dream crushing and bubble bursting, you. Come on, Jose. Let's go fix it. Come on, then. Arthur, what are you doing?
You okay with this spot for now, Mr. McGuire? Why don't we just fish here? Let's go, Arthur. Can we please go fishing now? What were you talking about before? Why don't we just fish here? There's a whole lake of them. Because I need to get out for a bit. Me and the old guard. Before any of them back there, oh, there was a us. The curious couple and their unruly son. It feels good here. You did well finding that spot, Arthur. More Charles than me. It's like I can breathe again. Thick and soupy as this air is. Might even do your whistling pipes some good, Hosea. I was once in this country with Bessie. Ah, feels like a lifetime ago. It was a lifetime ago. But what a life we have lived, how well we have fought, especially both of you. I hope so. But now, when things are desperate, we have to stick with the plan. Make enough money, then find somewhere where nobody will find us. But we don't have to hide. Uh, like where? I got some ideas hatching, but I need you with me, not against me. Both of you. Of course. Still, we do need money. So keep a low profile, especially in the local town. After Valentine, I want everyone on best behavior here. No trouble. But start turning over the soil and the rocks. See what turns up. Dutch. We've got to be discreet. Imagine what a slew of rich, simple tins there must be down here. Oh, this is perfect for you, Hosea. You'll be able to play them like a fiddle. Nothing but give me greater pleasure, but no buts. Not today. We fish and we enjoy the day. Looks like law up ahead. Play it cool. Gentlemen, well, look what the cat drug in. I seem to have gotten myself in a spot of bother. Quiet back there. Let's see if we can't sort this out. <laughs> How are you, boys? Fine. This is quite some country you have here. We like it well enough. Cody McIntosh, at your service. Lee Gray. This is my deputy, Archibald McGregor. It's good to meet you. You a Scot? Partly. The best part. <laughs> of course. Now, tell me, sir, what did the silly, fancy fop back there do? Nothing too terrible, I trust. He was accused of running a gold mining investment scam. Oh, no, 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 no. I'm sure he wasn't. He is a magician. I know him. He's a fool. But he is not a bad fellow. Now, can we... Can we just... Uh, I wouldn't do that if I were you! I, shit! I, the Anderson boys! I can't have more scandal! Well, allow us to help, my friend. Arthur! Chase wanted man. Uh, and, and take Archibald with you. Just what I signed up for. Come on, big guy! Perhaps we can discuss the foolish magician. Stay with that train! Don't let them get away! And do not shoot them, you hear me? Come on, hurry! All right! Come on, we're losing them! Will you relax? We're not losing them! Pull me up! Faster, come on! What's your name, sir? Arthur. Arthur Callahan. Faster, Mr. Callahan, please! My neck is on the line here. I get it, I'm doing my best. Pull me up, David! So what are these fellas wanted for? Well, the Anderson boys? Robbery, murder, kidnapping, they're the lowest of the low. Looks like the son of a bitch is gonna make it. You sure I can't just shoot him? No. Did I not say that? You said plenty. Look at you two fellas all cuddled up. <laughs> uh, Idiot. Uh. Now get after the others. Come on. The train is slowing down to go through the station. <laughs> Now's our chance. See if you can get alongside the train. Yeah. Closer! Get us alongside it! Get alongside that flat carriage. You think you can jump on there? 
Hey, why me? Because you ride like my grandmother. You are something else. Uh, you cop bastard. I didn't do nothing. Uh, uh, you bastard. That's enough. Damn it. Go, get after them. Where are you going? Bring him out here. Deputy? Sounded like quite a commotion. Is that him? I sincerely hope so. Old Anders Anderson. So what now? Well, take him in. Come on. A fine job. Well done. And a pat on the back for me for stopping the train. Load Anders onto the back of your horse there, and we'll take him to Sheriff Gray. There you go. You are a natural. All right, let's take him in. Follow me. What about the others? Oh, we'll round them up. Anders back there is the brains of the operation, and that's really saying something. You're the boss. That was mighty impressive, sir. I have to admit. I'd hazard a guess you've served the law yourself at some point. Well, I wouldn't exactly say that. <laughs> Are you familiar with the area here? 
No, not really. On your right here, these tobacco fields? This is part of Caliga Hall, big estate belonging to the Gray family. Looks bone dry. Yes, we are in dire need of some rain around here, let me tell you. The Greys have lived in Caliga Hall for generations. Fine people. My family's been working for them for years. Sheriff Gray's the one I know best, of course, but they own half the businesses in town. Which town? Rhodes, sir. You don't know it? Where we're headed right now. Ain't what it was before the war, but it has its charms. I'm sure you already know of the Braithwaites. Like I said, just got down here. Another big family in these parts. They have an estate west of here. Awful people, truly awful. They've been fighting with the Greys for as long as I can remember. Sounds like quite the place you got here. Move out of the way, will you? Right. Easy now. We're gonna bear left here. Easy there, girl. Here we are. Welcome to Rhodes. Up there on your left is the Rhodes Parlor House. A very reputable saloon owned by the Gray family. We also have a general store, gunsmith, post office, train station, of course. What more do you need? Very little. Can you grab Anders off your horse and carry him in for me? Chop, chop, don't just leave them slumped on there for the whole town to see. Hey, fellas. Come on, partner, before he wakes up. Carry him over then. <laughs> Mr. Gray! We got him. Very good. I told you Arthur would deliver. Man has a passion for justice. That's wonderful. So, uh, about my friend here? Your idiot friend is free to go. But no more trouble from you, partner. I promise you, this was all just a big misunderstanding. However, I want to thank you from the bottom of my heart. I'll pretend to appreciate that. Mr. McIntosh, it has been a real pleasure. The mostly good citizens of Rhodes, we welcome you. Well, we're just honored to be here. And make your friend behave. We got enough trouble from some of the residents, old-timers who've gone, sadly, to seed and lost their dignity. How terrible. Come along now. I will keep this fellow on the straight and narrow. Well, come back and see us sometime soon. Excuse me, gentlemen. Now, Bo, these better be ugly rumors. Is it true you were seen talking to that wretched Penelope Braithwaite? I can't thank you enough. Where have you been? Around. And where are you staying? I'm renting a caravan. The edge of town behind the church. It's horrible, but no one comes looking. The whole town is trapped in this interminable feud between the two families. His lot, Grays and Braithwaite's. Interesting. Two old plantation houses and falling out of rebel gold and marrying cousins or not marrying. Arthur, that's Jose. You start poking around, see what you can find out about that. I have missed you, boys. I've heard about bounty. Well, there's been a price on my head for 13 years. It'll take a month to find us down here, and it seems like we can have a little sport. Well, they're good bounties. Where you hear this? Some fellas I met at a camp near the state line said there was talk of it in bars in the north and west for 500 miles. There was talk of super agents or some such. Super agents? <laughs> I'd love to meet one. It's just talk. I'm sure it is, but I couldn't not tell you. Stay out of trouble. Thank you, gentlemen. <laughs> okay, so these two plantation families. Arthur, you start sniffing around the Gray's place, see what the story is there. Yeah, I passed by it earlier with our friend, Archibald. Good. Hosea. You see what you can find out about these Braithwaites. All right. 
Thank you, Arthur. Quite a fishing trip. There's still time. I'm up for it. How about you, Arthur? Have you had enough of the chase for one day? Sure, why not? Great. Hosea, why don't you lead us to that spot you were talking about? I kind of like this place. Okay. Let's see if we can avoid any more excitement. Gentlemen, follow me. So, how far is this creek? It's a bit of a ride still, and it's not a creek. It's the same lake we camped on, just a different pipe. It'll be worth it. I saw some big drum and sturgeon there. Should be rock bass, bluegills, perch, pickerel, too. It's a good spot. We'll see if you're as good at catching fish as you are at catching criminals, Arthur. Trelawney owes me for that. Trelawney owes everyone for something, but his information is good. Plus, we are now ingratiated with the local law. I'd say it was a worthwhile diversion all around. Trelawney's like a bad penny. I'm not sure how good a magician he is, but he's certainly good at disappearing when he feels like it. Where does he go? Everywhere and nowhere, it seems. We wouldn't have got Sean back if he hadn't been weaseling around down that way, though. Hey, Dutch, remember that time you found him in the outhouse? <laughs> oh, yeah. We hadn't seen him in weeks. We stopped in some dead-end town in the middle of nowhere. Don't even remember the name. You and Bill were off doing something, Arthur. <laughs> so, we pick up some supplies. I go to relieve myself, open the door, and there's Trelawney, sitting there, newspaper in hand. Mr. Vanderlyn, I say, what the hell are you doing here? And he said, I could ask you the same thing. Now, if you wouldn't mind giving me a little privacy, I ate a rotten oyster. <laughs> hey, maybe there are actually a hundred Trelawney's. What a terrible thought. So, you're going back to see that Sheriff Greg? Yeah, I don't see why not. They don't know who we are down here. He didn't seem the sharpest attacks. Neither did our deputy. If he thinks we can be useful to him, he can certainly be useful to us. A little hiding in plain sight. I feel like we're always hiding in plain sight. But sometimes more smartly than others. This is the spot. Down to the left there. Oh! It's okay, girl. Just a scratch. I saw some boats around last time. Be good to get to deeper water. Yes, over there on the shore. I'm sure nobody would mind if we borrowed one of these. Come on. Looks like a fine vessel. Okay. Come on, Arthur. Let's get her in the water. Huh? Oh, no. I got a good feeling about fishing here. It's supposed to be some incredible sturgeon. Oh. Okay, here we go. Let 
me, bro. You boys are too old for real labor no more. You're too dumb for anything else. <laughs> You're still too quick for me, old man. I enjoy picking on children. Now take us to the deeper water and pray for good luck and stupid fish. What about stupid luck and good fish? That'll do too. Keep going. I think here's good. All right. Good luck, gentlemen. Should really come here at dawn or dusk. That's when you catch the best fish. We should use a lake lure. That'll give us a much better chance of hooking something big like a sturgeon. What's wrong with good old worm? Oh, worms are good for tiddlers like bluegill and rock bass, but you'd have to be real lucky to catch a sturgeon with one. Lures it is, then. You heard the expert, Archer. Let's bait up. Keep the lure moving slowly on the water so it looks like a little fish just asking to be eaten. Arthur's got a bite. Now reel him in, Arthur. Okay, that was a bite. There he is. Nicely done, Arthur. Oh, yeah. Got one. Not bad. I got a bite. There we go. Shit. Got away. Hey, Jose. Remember that time we sent Arthur out fishing? He came back with three beautiful bass. Not uh, this again. I don't think I do. Oh, yeah. You do. He was maybe 20. 21. Walked in all full of himself. We had a big feast. Hosted him all night. This was 15 years ago. Oh, I remember now. <laughs> then, the next week, Arthur and I are at the market, and Fishmonger calls out, So how did you enjoy those bass? <laughs> Look, you can fish, or you can go drinking all day, rob someone, and buy some fish. There, hook them. I used to go fishing with this feller back in the day. Hey, look at this beauty. There you go. Well done, Arthur. They can grow a lot bigger than that. Fella told me he once saw a monster lake sturgeon near the mouth of the river, just southwest of Saint Denis. Fifty pounder, he reckoned. <laughs> I would like to see that. Got one. Remember those big salmon I caught in Montana last year? We had a banquet planned that night until Copper went and scoffed a lot. You never had control of that dog. Uh, he had some spirit, though. Never lost the puppy in him, not to the end. You know, I remember us saying how Blackwater was the furthest east we'd ever been. A as a group, I mean. Feels like the more we try to head west, the further east we end up. We had all those safe spots picked out to lie low in New Austin after the ferry job. I liked it there. Still open and wild the way it should be. Somehow the desert makes you feel closer to the sky. No point us trying to get back that way anytime soon. Pinkertons have patrols out and all over tall trees and great plains. We saw when we went back to Sean. Well, look at us now, huh? It could be worse. Plans change. That's just how life goes. You hooked him! Did I ever tell you my mother's buried in Blackwater? Really? She is? Apparently so. I, uh, I only found out from an uncle of mine years later. Last I knew, she was still outside Philadelphia. I left home at 15 and didn't see her again. She and I didn't always see eye to eye. 
I wasn't always a very obedient child. I can only imagine. Still, I loved her in my own way. And she, me, in hers. <laughs> Somehow, even from the grave. She managed to have the last laugh. Are you bored already, Arthur? That feels like a bite. Ha! I got ya! You're getting a hang of this. That'll drill up nice. Looks like you got a bite, Arthur. Fish on the line, Arthur. There you go. That's a nice one. Worth keeping that one. You got a bite. Got a nibble there, Arthur. That's on the hook, Arthur. Not bad, Arthur. Deep in that one, eh? Day, fellas. Already? You ain't been chasing down outlaws. All right. Think we got a decent haul here. Pearson will be happy. Should we head back? We could keep the boat. Not too far back to camp from here. Good idea. Could be useful. What about the horses? Well, they'll find their way back. Just follow the shore south, Arthur. That was fun. Uh -huh. Thank you, boys. Now, Hodea. Yes. How about a song? Okay. Mm -hmm. I, I wish to God I'd faster by. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. 
I wish to God I'd passed her by. Taters got burned, and so did I. Mm. <laughs> that was that was pretty good. But you know, what song we should be singing? What? Well, look at us, three mariners. Ah, of course. Well, we three poor mariners newly come from the seas. We spend our lives in jeopardy while others live at ease. Shall we dance this round and round, round? Shall we go dance this round and round and round? Peter is a bully boy. Come pledge me on this round and round, 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 round. We care not for the martial men that do our state's disdain. But we care for the merchant men who do our states maintain. To them we dance this round around around. To them we dance this round around around. And he that is a bully boy, come pledge me on this round of 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 round we should not let the folks that can think of me at too much fun. Indeed not. I mean, we are gonna be okay. I know. Well, I always know. Whenever I got you two by my side, things are gonna be just fine. This place will be good for us. For now, anyway. I hope so. Take in the view. I'll give these fish to Pierce. Gonna be fine, Dutch. Oh, that was fun today. You know, I think I've heard enough of your opinion, Miss. What is that stuff? You think you can make this yeah. place work? Make yourself useful. And the first part of useful is not driving me sure. insane with your constant complaining. What do you want? Don't be like that. Right, you know, just a, just a few bucks, and I'm short. Get lost. Well, well, I'll go try someone with a heart. You do that. Morgan. Herr Strauss. How are you enjoying yourself here? Well enough, I guess. And you? Well, it turns out the pursuit of freedom is not a cheap business. Not for us, and not for some of the locals. Sharking already. I prefer to call it banking. You ain't the one handing out the beatings. No, but I am the one feeding the women and children in the camp. What choice do we have, Mr. Morgan? Uh, I don't know. Well, come on, then. Tell me who. Here's the list. Refinery worker turned hunter by the name of Vinton Holmes. You'll find him up in the hills north of Strawberry. Ah, an apprentice undertaker. This one working in rows. His name was Gwen Hughes. And how many of them do you think will be able to pay? <laughs> With enough encouragement, both of them.
okay? <laughs> All good. You know me. Wish I was so good. Good evening, Arthur. Oh, Dutch. Lovely as always, you don't care. Mr. Morgan. Miserable Dutch.
time from guard duty. Hey! All right, I think I'll call it a night.
whatever you damn well please, but I tell you, if I don't get out of here soon, I'm gonna kill somebody. And if you don't stop hissing at me, I'm gonna kill you. What is wrong with you two? I ain't chopping vegetables for a living. Oh, I'm sorry, madam. Was there insufficient feathers in your pillow? I ain't lazy, Mr. Morgan. I'll work, but not this. Well, I ain't cooking work. My husband and I, we shared the work. All of it. I was out in the fields. I can hunt, carry a knife, or use a gun. But I tell you, you keep me here, I'll skin this fat old coot and serve him for dinner! Watch your damn mouth, you crazy goddamn fishwife! <laughs> Enough! Both of you! <laughs> well, come with me, then. You wanna head out there? Run with the man? So be it. But we do more than just hunting. We're hunted. And them things hunting us, well, they got guns of their own. I ain't afraid of dying. Good. If you need anything, Mr. Pearson, maybe me and Mrs. Zad are gonna take a little ride. Yeah, sure. Here's my list, and can you post this letter for me while you're there? Sure. Come on, princess. Are you coming with me then, woman? So I've graduated from chopping vegetables to shopping? Shut your goddamn mouth. <laughs> We all gotta do our share, princess. <laughs> Where's that letter? Are well, you reading his mail now? Oh, robbing and killing's okay, but letter reading's where we draw the line. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> Here. <clears throat> Dear Aunt Kathy. You are something else. I haven't heard from you in some time, so I pray to the Lord above that your health has not deteriorated further. Blah, blah, blah. It's boring. Ooh. <laughs> Wait a sec. Listen to this. Since we last corresponded, I have traveled widely, making no small name for myself. <laughs> Before you ask, I am still yet to take a wife, but I can assure you it's not for a lack of suitors. <laughs> even talk to a woman he ain't paid for. Oh, look. We're all hiding behind something. <laughs> and what's this? Return to Tacitus Kilgore. Oh, that. Now that's Dutch's idea. All mail to be sent to the same alias. Whatever we set up somewhere new, Strauss, he heads into town. He doesn't just start expecting mail from a Tacitus Kilgore, whatever they changed it to. Here, give me that back. We got work to do. Good morning. Okay, here we are. So, what's the plan? I shoot the shopkeeper while you- No! Are you insane? Well, I thought we was outlaws. Outlaws, not idiots. We rob fools that rob other people. These people, they're just trying to get by. So you head on in there and you buy us some food to eat. No guns. You're sure? This time, there'll be time for killing soon enough. What are you doing? I'm gonna go check the mail. Nothing exciting. What did you get there, Errol? 
Nothing. Morning. What Good morning, mean? mister. Hello, mister. What's in the parcel? Look. Hello it's there. It's ointment, all right? Face. For a private matter. Uh, you must be going. Don't make any severe. Morning. You want dog pay? Get back to work. Hi, fellas. Hey. Hello? Good day so far. Mister. Can I help you, mister? Yes, I would like to post a letter. All right. <laughs> okay, no trouble. Thank you. Morning. Hey now. Mister. A very good morning to you. Howdy. I'm working. Good morning, partner. You so long. Listen, lady, I got it all in the wagon there. I could train my goat to do this faster. I think this is everything. Thanks. Here. Take that for yourself, okay? Thanks. Well, give it back then. Jesus. I didn't ask for his goddamn help. Okay, get on. I'm about done here. I can do this, Arthur. You get on. Hello there. You don't need to check if I'm doing it right. Why don't you try? Okay. Come on, lady. Get a move on. I like Sadie, not Lady. I know. So, you get everything? I think so. And some new clothes, I see? Don't start. I can wear what I damn well want. Like I told you, my husband and I shared all the work. I wasn't some little wife with a flower in her hair making cherry pies all day. Yeah, I don't doubt that. You sure look the part now. Won't be long before you're smoking cigars and playing the harmonica. I'll have you know, I used to love playing the harmonica before. Well, my house and everything I own got burned to the ground. I know. I'm real sorry about what you, uh, you know. Maybe I'll keep my eye out for another one. I don't want no pity. Just treat me equal and no. Nobody's taking nothing from me ever again. Mm -hmm. Just don't kill the camp cook. Please. Hey there! Hey. What, uh... What you folks up to? Just heading home. You're in the Morn Raider country. Keep it cool. You lady. need to pay a toll to pass through here. No, I don't think so. You don't think so? How about you pull over right now? Pull over? That's what I said. Hey, how's about this? Go! Go, go, go! God damn it! Get moving now! Whoa! I'll kill that bitch! Put it back in They was gonna rob us. Think you're landing records? Oh, shut up! I'm gonna run this son of a bitch down! Well, wanted to see some action, lady. Now you got your wish. 
Mercer. I shoot you. All right. I'll drive us back. No, past those range here. Why? Because you've caused enough trouble already. <laughs> I'm fine. Careful now. Yep. We showed those bastards, huh? Remind me not to get on your bad side. And they was clearly planning to bushwhack us. We did good. But that's a lot of mess <laughs> to make near camp. Hope it don't bring anyone sniffing around. Are you gonna tell Dutch? Maybe. If he asked. But maybe not. So who do they say they were? Lemoyne Raiders? Yeah, something like that. Who knows? Anyway, don't you go ribbon piercing about that letter. How dare you? I wouldn't dream of it. Right, you wouldn't. I have traveled widely, making no small name for myself. I won't be giving you no mail to post. Anytime soon, that's for sure. <laughs> I just want to peek in that journal of yours. The mind of Baldwin. Not a chance. You didn't get yourself killed then, Miss Adler. Not quite. <laughs> well, I'd like to say I missed your refined conversations, but I'd be lying. Ah. Uh? I enjoyed myself out there. Yes, we, uh, Mrs. Adler did okay. At shopping? Yes, at shopping. Thank you, Mr. Morgan. Don't mention it. I would ride with you again, Mrs. Adler, if you will ride with me. Maybe. <laughs> if you prove you can handle yourself. Well, they say I lack finesse, but I ain't afraid of gun smoke. <laughs> <sighs> we got this, Arthur. You've already done me a big favor today. Okay, Miss High and Mighty. And nice pants, by the way. Oh, shut up. Uh, good morning, Arthur. Arthur. You okay, Sadie? Morning. Morning. We should go fishing again soon. That was fun. Yes. I needed that to clear the mind after Too much. What's your problem with me? Nothing but the obvious. And what is that supposed to mean? It means go away. Just who do you think you are saying them things about me? I'm the dumb strumpet. Now get lost. Look at me. Look at me. You little. <laughs> Damn you. <laughs> and you be careful before you hit me again, you goddamn moron. Dutch or no Dutch, you'll be up there with the angels playing harp before sunset. You hear me? You okay? She's lucky that's all she got. She's going through a rough time of it. I feel I made a bit of a fool of myself again. Well, uh, we've all done it. And you saved my life again. Well, maybe one day you'll save mine. Or my soul. 
Yeah, I'd like that. Don't make fun of me. Oh, I'm sorry. Anyway, it wasn't a complete waste of time. I stole this from one of those awful men. You should have it. Thank you, but you were blind drunk. I was drunk, but I never forget my manners. Be well, Mr. Morgan. Morning, Arthur. Haven't received anything from you in a while, Mr. Morgan. Yeah, I will. Hopefully, this will help a bit. Good job, Mr. Morgan. Yeah. So, tell me, is your people, uh, Jacobites or English lovers, Arthur? My people were peasants. We had no time for politics. My dad would say that no politics was politics. That old world bullshit, it ain't got no place here. Why? Because there ain't no judgment here. Most folks hate the Negroes, they hate the Redskins, the Jews, even us Irish. <laughs> You ain't so free of politics. I hate everyone just the same. Well, in that case, you're gonna want what I just found for us. What's that? I was riding around a couple of days back. I come across this old cabin. A couple of fuckers lazing about outside all liquored up. <laughs> I didn't think nothing of it. But then I come across this hunter down by the river. And he tells me they're a stick-up crew. Says they hit a train a couple of days back near Emerald Ranch. Nice fella he was, shared a bottle we did. Then I robbed the bastard blind. <laughs> and you believed him? No reason not to. If he's right, it'll be a big haul for us. I saw three of them, maybe more, but I reckon you and me, we could take them real easy. All right. What the hell? Let's go check it out. <laughs> them sons of bitches think they're mean? <laughs> they're about to get a lesson in mean. You just keep your cool, you hear me? Right, follow me. Okay, girl. Hey, you seem I could put any money in the box. No, I don't think so. How far is this place? Bit of a ride. Not too bad. Back up north to stretch. Not far from the state line. All right. So, what were you doing riding around up there anyway? Can't the you just ride with me? Anyway, what was you talking about? Sniffing around, looking for a take. I got a long nose for these things. Is always honored us to get out there and bring in money, ain't he? And rightly so. I ain't like some of them others back there, sitting around waiting to be told I go after it. I see you sitting around plenty. I mean, I don't need no coddling like the rest. Dutch knows my value to the cause. That's from the moment I met him. You tried to kill him, if I remember the story right. And he kept me around, didn't he? He saw something in me. He said as much. I'm sure. Dutch is good at seeing things in people. And while we're talking about money, you are clear on how this works. We split half, other half goes to the gang. Dutch keeps all our savings hidden in a safe spot outside camp. Yeah, yeah, I know. How many times do you have to tell me? Well, what's that box by his tent for, then? Camp funds, supplies and the like. <laughs> In fact, you don't know that suggests you clearly ain't put much in it. I always pay me way. Don't you worry. You're sure you scoped this place out right? Yes. See? That's why I wanted you along for this. You're still a doubter. I ain't just some dumb kid. I've lived a lifetime of shit already. And you sure don't keep it bottled up inside. 
What about that train job with the oil wagon? Made a good show in there, didn't I? You got knocked out. Ah, that's what you choose to remember. We got paid. We got out of there. Got knocked out in Blackwater, too, didn't you? <laughs> <laughs> now that was bloody chaos. Did you get split off with Mac? Get a move on. Hey, where are you going? <laughs> Will you just ride with me now? So you was just talking about something? No, nope, didn't see him. I lost your boys at some point when he was getting out of town. They caught up with Mac a couple of days after. Davy was finished by the time we got up the mountains. Jenny didn't even make it that far. Those bounty hunters strung me up, beat me, pulled teeth, burned me feet. I didn't read a word about nothing, I swear. Good. And it's time folks stop giving Dutch a hard time about all that Blackwater business, if you ask me. The man's not a fortune teller. You can plan, you can use your head, but you never really know what you're walking into. Yep. Folks always want to blame someone when things go wrong. How far is it now? Not too much further. Better be worth it. Hey, you need this, Arthur. I don't even know what I'm here to no more. All right, that'll have to wait. We're nearly there. Hard left coming up. All right, it's going to be off the road up ahead. Up here, Morgan. Make sure we keep one of them alive to tell us where they stashed the money. Hope you know what you're doing. There's one of them outside. This is good. It is? Leave it to me. I'll do the talking. You hang back. seconds to get the hell off my property, boy. Uh, look. Just thought you might like to know we passed a big posse of lawmen headed this way. There were a dozen of them coming up east. What? Where? Right uh. here. It's up, Arthur. Here come the rest of them. Where you stash your money, and we let you live. 
Well, all right, all right, take it easy. Behind the, the wall in the bedrooms, if you stick your hand between the gap. All right, you go grab the money. I'll keep an eye on sunshine here. You know what? Just get the hell out of here and don't look back. Got some good stuff. <sighs> Why don't you see what else you can find, Sean? Told you we take a no problem, didn't I? You did good. Let's see what the pay is first. Dug this stuff all by myself. A proper lead. All right, all right. You heard him, right? He said the stash was behind a loose board in the bedroom. Find anything yet? Don't want to overstay our welcome, do we? Hey, it's over there. This is more like it. Good work. Hey, what about my car? I found a place, didn't I? All right, here. But don't forget to give the camp its share. Supplies don't appear by magic, you know. All right, don't need the lecture again. I'll see you back at camp. Never know what folks got stashed. <laughs> Just got a few other places out there like this.
Mister? Hi, stranger. How you doing? What the devil are you looking at? I'm sorry? No, I'm sorry. I'm ruined. Ruined! How so? It's a disaster. <laughs> who wants to see a woman wrangle wild animals who doesn't have any bloody wild animals? Come to America, they said. Come to the land of opportunity, they said. Sod you, Daddy, I said. I'm going to America to make it on the stage. I don't want to be in the army. Ooh. Now look at me. The old git will have a field day. I didn't really understand any of that. I had an act. The bravest woman in the world. The animal wrangler. Watch her tame wild beasts. And you were the woman. Of course I was the bloody woman. Look at me. It's the stage. Grease paint. Tears. No one wants to see a man wrangling wild animals. And no one wants to see a woman wrangling nothing. Can I borrow your gun? I want to shoot myself. You see, I'm buggered. What? My animals, they escaped. And now I'm, I'm buggered. What, what escaped? A priceless Ranjaniki tiger from the slopes of the Hindu Heights. <laughs> a fantastic, elusive zebra from the plains of Ongo Bongo by the shores of the Limpopo. And a magnificent lion from the grasslands of Tanganyika. Yeah, I see your problem. They're pretty hard to come by around here. Listen, friend. Help a fellow out, would you? I'm beyond desperate. If you see any of them, will you bring them back here? If I see a tiger or a lion or a zebra just roaming around. Exactly. If... Well, I believe the zebra's up near Lonard Sod. Distinctive creature, that he is. I'll make it worth your while. All right. Madam. <laughs> it's bloody Margaret, not madam. <laughs> Margaret, mistress of fucking danger. <laughs> That's a good thing. Okay, my girl.
easy now. Look here. What they done to you? Okay.
found him, our zebra. <laughs> well, you can call him that. Huh? Although he's as much a zebra as you are a lady animal wrangler. Oh dear, you're missing the point, aren't you? It's an illusion, a trick of the eye to bamboozle the senses. Confound comprehension. Hoodwink your audience? Hoodwink? Our audiences? <laughs> dear boy, don't be so dreadfully literal. No one will pay for the truth. They only pay for deception. The allure of the stage, dreams and reality. Ah. What is the greater conjuring trick? Lassoing some poor beast on the plains of Mumbo Jumbo land and shipping it here so it can dance the polka? Or turning there in the glare of those arc lamps, something mundane into something extraordinary? It's the difference between prose and poetry. It's alchemy. We're selling dreams, dear boy. Well, as long as... As long as you don't pay me with tickets to your show. Ah, uh, yes. Well, it's not everyone's cup of tea. And speaking of my payment... Of course, of course. I shall make it worth your while. But, um, first, we shall need the whole menagerie back before we can think about that. My assistant's gone for the tiger. Tiger? Yes, yes. And taken our remaining lion in case it could lend a paw. <laughs> They're down there on Caliga Way. Please, I hate to ask. All right, I'll see what I can do. Partner? Trying to get these supplies to the federal building. Hey! Let the man go. You're gonna have yourselves a problem. Listen. Ain't no slack jaw outfit. Move in now.
You can tell me later. All right, let me see. You boys Thank you, Art. The many heirs of my weight. Repenting? Except for one thing. I wish I had acquired wisdom at less of a price. Except my Edwards. I was frisky. Over some poles and whiskey. Like the waves of the bay of the Biscay. Don't go too close to the water here, Jack. I won't, Uncle Arthur. Good boy. The face was as red as a lobster. So, what do you think of the place? I broke my poor knob, sir. Yep. Uh, I watched a time, you picked from my fob, sir. I'll never get drunk well, no more. I think that's enough for one day. 
Ah, Russo. I posted that letter for you. Thank you, Mr. Morgan. Don't look quite right. Yeah. I ain't never gonna get the hang of this. Dad when don't you care if it's pretty, right? Start picking out a box for yourself if you don't got that money, you old Leopold Strauss. I, I don't. I, I, I need more time. Doesn't everybody? That casket for you? Or you want another? Wait, 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 wait. I, I, I can get it for you. But, uh. Well, uh. Come with me to the churchyard. And stay close. Oh, this ain't right. I, I mean, I I'll get you your money, but, uh... Oh, well, you'll see. What ain't right is borrowing money you can't pay back. I, I guess, I guess, I guess you you're correct, but, uh... This, it, it ain't exactly right, what we're doing. You ain't the first to put his hand in the collection box, and you won't be the last. Rest a little easier knowing church has been taking more than they need off poor folks since time began. Well, like I said, well, the morality of the matter is a little more confusing than that. <sighs> okay, you head on in the church, I'll keep watch. Well, it ain't in there, it's under here. I'm digging up Mrs. Claypole. Jesus! Well, she got a bunch of jewels in there that she don't need. <laughs> How's it going? Oh, 
Oh, damn it. There's a bunch of people here. Oh, I got it. I got it. Look, you clear them off, and I'll wait right around here. But don't hurt nobody. We don't want no fuss. Don't be shy. Ain't no one around. Just my auntie. Your auntie's long past <sighs> prudishness. It's disrespectful. You'd rather disrespect the living, <gasps> breathing woman you got here in front of you? Get out of here, kids. Move! Come on. I knew we shouldn't have been here. You missed your chance, boy! There's still folk here. Ma'am, would you mind clearing out of here for some uh, maintenance work? Oh, gladly. It's about time this place got cleaned up. All clear. All right. Now go watch the gate. I'll get to this, uh, exhumation. there sir sorry church grounds are closed okay it's uh good of you to be doing it out of hours i guess i'll come back in the morning Sure would. Huh? Hey, look, we're closed for some uh, excavation work. Would you mind? No, I ain't gonna mind you at all. You carry on with your business, we'll carry on with ours. This fella. Oh, damn choir boy. Get the hell out of this churchyard. Are you boys gonna need yourselves to preach? You hear this fella? I heard him all right. We're gonna lick you, bastard. Come on. Uh. Uh. Let's go, uh. mister. This whole dug. Here's your payment. Oh, forgive me, Mrs. Claypole. What'd you find? Well, she had a brooch here. It looks like diamonds. Quick, take it before somebody sees us. Oh, uh, this 
this'll do. Now get out of here before someone sees you. Can't believe it's come to this. All right, well, uh, I'm out of here. That, that's more than than clear what I what I owe you. Good morning, mister. Fine day to you. <clears throat> Hello again, sir. Gentlemen. How do you do, sir? Hello there. Hi there. Good morning to you, sir. Shouldn't be seen together. Morning to you. Hello there. Mister? How do you do? <laughs> 